and I'm currently setting this up, so you're probably re-watching this. I'm going to do a live review of the Asus Strix or Asus ROG Strix G16. And I'm just quickly going to set the stream up. I'm filming this with my phone. And the stream is not visible yet. So just get that started. If you're looking to buy this laptop, the best pricers are in the links below for different configurations. And I think we're almost good to go. Now I'm just gonna go over the build quality, the FPS, and well, I'm just gonna take a look at what the machine can do, what it performs like, what it feels like, what I've found out because this is actually a review after I've tested it for quite some time now. And I figured I'll do it live. So if people have questions, they can ask questions, which is, well, I think pretty good to do. So I'm quickly setting the stream up here. It's a little hassle to film with the phone. So let's just start up the laptop, boot it up. See how fast it boots up. It's currently plugged in. There we go. I think we are live now. Great. So this is not the best intro to do it like this, but that's okay because if we do it live, that has its own benefits. So let's just start up with start off with the laptop booting up. I think it takes pretty long to boot up. Slick Rick, this is live, yes. Ooh, actually we need to do a BIOS update. That's interesting. Let's do the BIOS of it. See if that actually makes the GPU go up to 140 watts. So we can't really unplug it now. Phantom, what's up everybody? We're gonna do a live review of the Asus Strix G16. And it comes in this box. And this is kind of what it looks like. Can't really touch it right now. It's, it's doing an update. Let's just... That was unexpected. This is the right hand side. So we have two USB A ports. We have our media keys. There's little intakes there. It's pretty open. We have our standard ASUS keys. And well, these are the transparent keys and you can already tell it's pretty hard to see in the dark at least if you have this rainbow color let me show you what kind of different colors we have oh we can't really do that right now <laughs> it's doing a bias update can you show the keyboards lights turn off please i don't know if i can do that right now no it's currently doing a bios update so i can show you that in a second by the way guys if you have questions or if you are re-watching the stream let me know if you have any questions i'll do my best to answer this is the left side so two usb-c ports headphone jack hdmi and a internet port um, the back side we have all vents it's one giant vent and I have no idea what the new BIOS does so we're gonna find that out in a second I actually just booted the PC or I just shut the PC down so but do not turn off the laptop we're not gonna do that this is the bottom side but we'll take a you see that little air intake over here that's new that's actually pretty efficient for sniffing up dust i think so
These BIOS updates take pretty long from Asus laptops. That's awesome, dude. I'm from Brazil and my father will travel to the US to bring me this laptop. Awesome. So I'm pretty excited that it does, actually does this update. It's, so it's the freshest update. So let's see if we can actually reach 140 watts now. Now, uh, Jared has made a video and he also came to the conclusion that the laptops, uh, the most uh, 4060 laptops are voltage limited. That means they cannot really go up to, or it's pretty much pointless to go up to uh, 140 watts. Did you notice any coil wine on this Asus so far? Well, if you turn the, the, like the fans up really high, you hear a little whiz, but no, not like the static electric uh, coil wine. Also, you might be able to tell, I don't notice any backlight bleed whatsoever on this machine. And I just want to thank you guys. A lot of you, a lot of you have purchased this laptop using my links. That really, really supports the channel. Doesn't cost you anything more. And just thank you from the bottom of my heart. That makes life easier. I actually have an Asus mousepad. How cool is that? Well, we're just gonna have to wait for this update. I thought I was well prepared. I think it's almost done. That's why it took so long to boot up. You can't really do anything when it's BIOS updating. Everything, all the controls are locked. It basically just tells you to do not touch this computer or it will self-destruct. There's also a little webcam. They added that. It's, I, I will show you that in a second. I will show you everything on this laptop in this, well, live review. Please ask questions. I will read them out loud and I will try to answer all of them. Let me make this a little bit bigger. That's easier to read. Did you buy it from Amazon USA? I did not, no. I bought this from a local store. Um, I live in the Netherlands. Is there a way to turn off the blink low screen? I don't think so. Okay, so it's BIOS updated. So this is like the freshest review you can get right now with the latest BIOS update. Let's see. I, let's see if it actually does better now. Is this plastic? I do think so, yes. It also has G-Sync. As some people ask, like, does it have the um, numpad in, the, in the, the, the touchpad? And it does not. That's only for the SCAR models. Yeah, I, I, I read about that. That the, that's actually really good. I'm quite happy. The one in Amazon USA comes with two eight RAM. Ramash, good morning. Let's see if it will actually boot. Oh, it'll boot. <laughs> As per your location. <laughs> well, it takes a while now after the latest BIOS update. You're from Nepal. One thing I did notice is if you update this laptop and after the update is fresh, you restart it and you let the screen go to sleep, it sometimes stays in the sleep mode. And I think, or I hope at least they're going to fix it with this update. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's go finally. So let's go over the keyboard first. So this is the keyboard and this is the keyboard without the lights. 
this is the keyboard fully turned up. There is different modes you can choose from. Aura sync modes. I personally like the rainbow. There's a big light bar here at the front. And it goes a little along the sides, this side as well. Now, let's flip the laptop over so you can see the bottom. This is the bottom. A lot of intake. They actually included the intake here. We have the speakers over here. And somebody asked me, does the logo light up? It does not. Here's the sticker. Seriously cool and surprisingly quiet. There we go. Let's get in the laptop. Let's unhide the taskbar. Whoops. There we go. Now let's take a look at the webcam. It's going to be awkward. Hello. It's um let's see how responsive it is. It looks really responsive. I think it says it is camera settings, video settings. So it says it's 60 hertz, 720p. I've only been over this five for a week and now the white knee back line really looks good. Awesome. So this is the webcam. It's, I mean, it's perfect for Zoom meetings and such. And look, I'm actually streaming from my phone. Nice. Guys, if you want to hit the like button on the stream, I can, you can actually see me now. Hit the like button. That would be awesome. And, well, this is the camera. It's okay, I guess. It's a little hazy, but perfect for Zoom meetings. Now, let me show you the GPU part. And people keep asking me, why is it only reaching 100 watts or 105 watts? It's actually, as you can see over here, it's still a 140 watt GPU. Now, let's turn on a little light so we can see a little better. There we go. That is the S22 Ultra. Nice. Good eye. Keen eye you have, Master Hobbit. And actually, we're going to restore that. There we go. I want to see how good it does now. And we're going to test Forza Horizon 5. It's a pretty heavy game. And I want to see if we can actually reach up to 140 watts. I don't think so. As Jared pointed out, it's still pretty pointless. Because I think from somewhere going up to 100 watts, it has diminishing returns. And it's pretty unnecessary to actually reach those numbers. Yes, I did update the latest BIOS. So I'm curious to see if they fixed it. If not, if they haven't fixed it, I'm gonna send Aces an email asking for explanation. Okay, let's continue. Dun dun. I think so as well. I'm really eager to see what the update did. All right, let's start it off. Somebody asked me what the speaker sound like. I will let you listen to no copyright music in a second.
And I think this is the highest settings we can get in this game. Or it's ultra. It's not exactly the highest. It's 1200p. And VSync is off. Yeah. So it's ultra settings in this game. But a GPU has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And once again, I don't see the 140 watts. I don't think that's necessarily a problem. Now, I have the laptop flat on the table, so the temperatures are going to be a little bit higher. Yeah, it seems to be bottlenecking. That is true. It's not fully utilizing the GPU. I want to try Battlefield 2042. And no matter what you guys think of that game, it's still a very, very heavy game to run. So it's a good benchmark game. This game is pretty heavy as well. Let's see if we... They have just included DLSS in this game. So let's see if we have that turned on. I don't think... No, it's not with DLSS. So let's turn DLSS. This is DLSS 3. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good for flat on the table. So this is DLSS 3.0 which we are going to turn on. I don't think DLSS is going to do that much for this game. Apart from remove the peaks and lower the temp the wattage even more. For those who are wonder who are wondering, we're playing on turbo mode. Let me just show you that. Is there coil wine? Nunk, Arctic's 40, 50, 40, 60, 40, 70 is not worth buying. They are just expensive. I do not agree. Depends. Everything depends on the price, of course. Let me just show you. We're currently playing on turbo mode. And the laptop has a mug switch. These two are the iGPU mode, so the eco mode and the optimized mode are the iGPU and the ultimate and the standard mode are the DGPU modes. <laughs> oh yes, last year's 37 is, is still pretty good. But the more we get uh, tech like widely implemented as frame uh, generation, it's a pretty good feature. It's a little cheating, but hey. I might actually make a video uh, comparing it. I don't have a 3070, so that would be a 3070 Ti. It's still not doing that. So let's try Battlefield 2042. Let's do a little benchmark here before we go through these menus. One only has limited time. <laughs> this is not my full-time job, so I don't have like all the time in the world to sadly make these kind of videos. I wish I had more time. I do really wish I had more time. So let's start a Battlefield 2042. Now, even while this thing is flat on the table, it's still very quiet. Let's elevate the back a little bit with something I have here. So the back is a little elevated now. Once again, guys, if you're looking to buy this, then links are in the description. Pratham M. Rao, I will do that, man. Please make a comparison between this and 3070. That would be great. I will. Would be great if he hit up to 20 likes. It helps the stream to be found. So let's do this game. 
max res full screen put everything on ultra DLSS, let's turn that off. Let's start off with native, ray traced, ambient occlusion. We can turn it on in a second if you want to. If you guys have any questions, please do ask them now or comment later. Why is this? I don't know, it depends on the region really, what the price is. Which has a better display, Legion 5 i Pro or this? The Legion 5 i Pro has a better and brighter display. That being said, this display is not bad. You don't care about high temperature. No, I'm absolutely. Uh, this is it's it's the temperatures are high now because it's loading the map. It will go down shortly. No, I'm totally not worried. If, if, if a CPU temperature is like below 90 degrees, I'm totally fine with it. And for the laptop, for the GPU, it's more like when it's below 80, I'm fine with it. If it's above that, uh, I generally like to use a cooling dock or set a more aggressive fan curve. Okay, let's go over here. This, this game, by the way, on a 3060, runs like a piece of hot garbage. Still, this is native, by the way. We're playing native ultra settings. It should go up to 140 watts. Well, Jared uh, mentioned that in his last video, that that's not necessarily uh, needed. We should have to watch his video. I think it's his latest video. He explained it. He can explain it a lot better than I do. He's more into the technicals. I'm more about the user experience. Oh, god damn it. Okay, let's turn on DLSS. You know, let's let's try auto first. But somehow, if you turn on DLSS, the wattage uh, usage seems to drop. I mean, let's be honest, guys. This kind of wattage with this kind of performance, that's actually really good. I don't necessarily want 140 watts because that would make the laptop a lot a lot louder and a lot less quiet. I think it can draw more power if it needs to, but I don't think it really needs to. I'm using the S22 Ultra to record. Oh, that's not a smoke. Oh, that's like a four smoke thing. What do you guys think? Should it should it boost up to 140 watts, even though the, like the gains would be very minimal? Or are you fine with a little less noisy laptop that, if necessarily, can or necessary can boost up to 140 watts? I think I think this is fine to me because I like I really like how quiet the laptop is and still performs really good. What do you guys think? Do you really want like full max power and a lot of high temperatures and a lot of noise or just a little less noise? I mean, we have seen that, um, we have seen that the um, 40, 4000 series GPUs are very uh, power efficient. Okay, put it to silent in Armory Crate. Let's do that. Let's put that on silent. If you have any of these questions, thank you for asking this. 
Just ask. So we just put it to silent. It goes really silent now. What? <laughs> you son of a... Let's get you off that pole, motherfucker. Okay. That's not how it works, apparently. So, let's turn on the sound. It is, like, quiet. It is... Can you guys hear the sound? That is so good. Look at the temperature still. Look at the performance. It just dropped the wattage a little bit at the cost of almost no FPS. That is insane. You guys can't really hear it, can you? This is me snapping my finger. That is crazy good. What on the planet? Okay, let's... Let's see... What happens if we put it like on a performance mode? So this is performance mode. <laughs> we might actually conclude that silent mode is not doing bad. Temperatures are going up now. Let's see if that stays that way. I mean, CPU temperatures has been, has been slowly like crawling up. That's 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 a lot of CPU usage, by the way. Holy cow! <laughs> I do somewhat. That is crazy. It's it's barely audible. It's st still, the CPU temperatures are good again. What the hell? I'm just so surprised. What do you guys think of this? Dropped in my death. <laughs> All right, let's. That's keyboard brightness. Let's turn the screen brightness. There we go. I'm just so surprised at how good the silent mode is. What if you put it like on? No, let's not do that. What is this? Windows. Silent. Let's put it on silent again. Silent mode is ridiculously good. So what happens if we would like, it's on silent mode now, and what if we put the settings on like medium with DLSS auto? It would just turn into a silent beast. That is crazy good performance. It's so responsive now. Wow. The wattage is still good. The frames are still good. This is silent mode. I think these dudes are up here. No. What's shooting me? Press five to self heal. Okay. We are moving to seize Alpha Two. The guy scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> I 
I don't know what to say. This is this is really good. Let's see. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say. That that's just so good. It's just so good. That silent mode is ridiculous. You don't actually need to put it in like performance mode or turbo. At least not for that game. Let's start up some Fortnite. Fortnite is actually really, really heavy. So let's see how that performs. Not particularly a fan of Fortnite, but just take one for the team here. Let's enter my super secret password. There we go. Oh, now we have to do an update. <laughs> Probably a small update. That'll be done in seconds. So let's go through the Armory Crate software. There we go. So this is the Armory Crate software. It's a little different looking for different kind of models. You have the update center here. You also find BIOS updates here, if they are available. <laughs> I should not have clicked that, should I? It always takes a while. Now we have the Aura Sync software and you can set different kinds of Aura effects at the speed of it. Let's see if that actually changes it. Slow or fast. <laughs> there is game visuals. It'll make the screen look a little different. Let me try to hold the camera a little better here. You have the vault, racing, scenery. RTS, RGB, FPS, cinema. I care. Well, I care about this. <laughs> and Vivid. I personally like to use Vivid. It's the, it's the brightest one of them all. There is a library for games. Blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. I don't have Warzone currently installed on this. I don't really like how slow Armory Crate is sometimes. Not a huge fan of that. Asus at its finest. So if you press anything like on search in Armory Crate software, it's going to be so slow. Can we get up to maybe 30 likes? That would be awesome. Let's see if we can hit the 30 likes. Now there's different kind of profiles. There is, well, marketing. Yeah, I'm holding the camera with one hand, so, <laughs> and the mouse. <laughs> Featured, what is this, news. You also have like Aura wallpapers. Look, YouTube wants money again. They're like, no, it's a good time to insert an ad. No, I will not show you ads. <laughs> you need camera holder or tripod. Yeah, I have a tripod, but sometimes I just like to move around a bit, make, make a little dynamic. All these things are pretty slow, honestly. So here we have the list. I think Fortnite should be done pretty quickly. What do you guys think so far of this laptop? I'm pretty much a fan of it. You can also set like a CPU core configuration. 
and it's set to the max. This is six, and the max is six. And there's eight efficiency cores. And you can change this. Choose how many P and E cores are enabled on your system. Changing this configuration can improve performance or battery life in certain scenarios. For more information, please click on the red info button below. After changing the settings, please click apply and restart your computer. So if you're really in need, entire need of battery life, you can disable a few cores. And well, that's pretty much it for the software. You also have the GeForce experience possibilities like all the other laptops have. That's weird. It has battery boost, it somehow turned that on. There's whisper mode. And I don't know. Let's move the laptop around the room. Live. So in conclusion, because I don't want to make this stream too long. In conclusion, this laptop is a really good performer. It has okay battery life. It's definitely not the best battery life. It's somewhere, well, average. The screen is good. It's really responsive. The brightness is perfectly fine. I think it's like 300 nits. You can find the purchase links in the description for more details or if you want to buy it. The keyboard is fine. I personally like typing on it. Not particularly a fan of the white keys because like, if you're gaming like this, you cannot read it. Maybe if you would like set something like that, you could read it, but not like with rainbow effect. Let's put it back. There's a little webcam on top. I am a fan of that. Let me quickly show you that again. I don't have the chat, I think. Oh, I can turn it on. This is the camera. It's okay, it's a 60 Hertz, 720p camera, perfect for Zoom calls. And it's pretty good. No, it's actually the S22 Ultra. <laughs> I'm eyeballing the S23 Ultra. Ultra. So, I might actually just start a stream right after this, so this just stays a um, review. It has two USB-A ports on the side, fans on the side. On the left side we have this. HDMI to USB-C, headphone jack, Ethernet port, and where the power goes in. The back side is one giant fan. And trackpad is good. It's quite large. It's quite a large trackpad. So, would I recommend this laptop? Because I, I literally bashed Asus there, last year's G15 to death. <laughs> I thought that was a terrible laptop. And I can honestly say that Asus has quite redeemed themselves with this laptop. It's a really good laptop. The performance is good. Battery life is okay. Screen is good. It's really cool. It's really quiet. It has a camera, so we cannot nag about that anymore. It has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and I think we'll leave it at that. Right after this stream, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you want to purchase this link, to this laptop, links are in the description. And if you want to see more benchmarks, then join the channel or stay tuned for the next stream because I'm going to end this stream and I'm going to start a new stream where I'm going to test games 
these games on this laptop. And we're just going to game a little bit around and, well, it's not really going to be a review. It's just going to be a game test. So thanks so much for watching, guys, for this stream. I'll be right back in, I think, like maybe 15 minutes and I will see you there. Thanks so much for watching and I love you all. Goodbye.